Hi. I'd like to start a conversation around the the tips for titling notes. Um, I th really think this is a superpower. Um, first, I want to talk about some of the qualifiers. I don't profess to be very good at what I'm going to be recommending. Um, these are tools for thinking about titling notes that I've gleaned from friends. Um, and I'm trying to stand on the shoulders of those thinkers around me. Um, I have examples of some awful titles exposing my lazy ineptitude. Uh, and I do have a few titles that I'll share that are complementary to the ideas that are expressed in the Zettel. Um, this is a work in progress. Um, next year, I'll be embarrassed by my feeble attempts today. Uh, but there, there's more to be said about tunneling, uh, some of it which we'll find supportive, some of it we won't glean from this what you can. Okay, here we go with our first note. Well, this is the note that I'm sharing in the post that's accompanying this video. The original title, Titling Outline, is pretty boring, but it does describe what this is. It's a safe and respectable title, but we can do better. So I'm going to change the name of the title here and we'll just work in the uh, in the zettel itself until we get a final title so the title for this one i think a more skillful improvement would be note titling tips because that's what this is filled with it's not just an outline it's filled with um note more tunneling tips now this kind of describes what's in the note instead of what the note's form is which was the first title was just a uh, uh, tunneling outline it's just uh, the the form this describe more of the contents uh, but it doesn't really um it's not really enticing it's not really what we want to find ourselves in the future looking for and it won't entice me to dive into this note if i ran across it with this title later so um maybe we can think of something more stellar this title is uh, an improvement, but I think we can move onward from here to the Stellar Note title. And um, I've come up with a title, um, this How to Tie the Title of a Note to Its Idea. And this kind of expresses um, what the... Uh, uh, Titling tips are trying to do are trying to the idea within the note itself is uh, tools and tips in which to tie the note the title of the note to its idea and I think even a, another improvement here how to um, how did we can actually remove this and how to tie the title with it. Um, it's the notes idea. I think this is even um, a little bit clearer. Um, so this is where I'm going to settle it now. I've got this title and now I'm going to take, just take it. Now I'm going to copy it. Now I'm going to go up here and rename. Okay. 
come in here and we'll paste this in and we'll call this good. So there we've done our first renaming of the title from something that was safe and respectable to something that's more stellar, more enticing, more attractive, more uh, expressive. This is an older note, Kigo. This, it, Kigo is the, uh, used in haiku, writing haiku poetry. It's a tradition of making a reference to the season in haiku. The way that this note is titled makes it seem as though this is a definition. And we can make a skillful improvement here by, um, changing the title um and we kind of still we call it kigo and we tell in the title quickly what this is about it's about a seasonal reference in haiku so we went from um kind of defining the term to telling what the term is referring to now i think we can still improve this some what we're going to do is change this title to more of an expression of the idea that the seasonal reference complements a haiku. And that's what this note is, is describing, the complementary aspects of the seasonal reference in haiku, rather than just a definition um, or a an explanation about what uh, Kigo is. This is a note from a processing that I took when I was reading a book by Rucker Bergman called Humankind. Um, it's a history book. One of the topics that it had in it was prison reform and it compared prison conditions in Norway as compared to those in the United States. And I found that quite interesting, so I created a couple of notes on that, and this particular one we'll take a look at. The title Prison Reform is pretty um, generic, it's very plain, it's kind of a lazy way of uh, titling the node. It doesn't tell much about what's in the node or the context of the node or, or anything about the node other than uh, I get this idea that it's something about prison reform. So we can improve that somewhat and we can do that. And uh, this kind of uh, explains a little bit. This is a little more skillful. Norway treats prisoners humanely and that's partly what this is about. And it's more of a social commentary, uh, commentary on the uh, contents of the note rather than actually something more skillful. No, I think we can do something more skillfully. We can just change the note title. Um, the cost benefits of Norway's progressive uh, prison policy that more describes what this note is about. It's about the cost benefits. Um, you can see there's a big section here on the cost benefits, and that's what mostly captivated my interest in this uh, um, note. And uh, the title now reflects the contents of the note and is in a way that is inviting. It's a kind of uh, makes me curious about what the cost benefits are. So this is a big improvement in this note. One more to go and then uh, we'll be done. This note, the Dungsroman, um, this was a concept that was introduced to me in my last uh, class I took at the university, a literary criticism class. Um, and um, this is a genre of literary uh, work. Uh, we read a couple of them. One of them was The Other by David Gooderson. 
interesting story about two friends and the arc of their friendship from the time in high school till their deaths. But um, the uh, title is just the word Bildungsroman. It really doesn't say anything about it, so we can modify that a little bit and, and refer to this as the definition of build build up your own and that is somewhat of an improvement but i think we can make it even better make it stout and this short title actually says the whole thing it, it actually defines what build up your own is and uh, the note actually it gives a uh, a source reference and a uh, place to land links for this type of uh, literary term. Um, it's uh, a vast improvement. So we'll go ahead and we'll rename the file here. And uh, there we go. So this is uh, uh, been my presentation of uh, high look at titles. I try often in, in the editing process to think of new titles. Uh, not initially, initially I'm more worried about other things, about uh, correct spelling, about the idea, about capturing the whole idea, about explaining myself well. Um, punctuation, uh, formatting, I want to be sure that I clarify who said what, and I said this, and they said that, so I, uh, and I have all my correct references, but at some point in the editing process, I really uh, spend time, I want to do this more and more, spend more time uh, focusing on the title, trying to get them uh, to be uh, uh, more uh, expressive of the note. I hope this has been helpful, and we'll see you on the forums.